Greetings and welcome to Mishroots Online Education Sessions. This video is a disclaimer and I have put this in place to ensure that we're all on the same page here. To cover my back and to make sure that the information divulged is not misconstrued, miscommunicated or misunderstood. I have to highlight that I'm doing this out of sheer passion. I am passionate about equality. I am passionate about the injustices against people of African heritage. And I feel that I have the ability to contribute to change especially change where education is concerned. There is nothing special about me. I am literally the girl next door, but my aims are to inspire and to be relatable, for people to connect with and understand that it, it takes one person to instigate change, one person with passion and drive and ability. I intend on using everything that I have learnt in university with regards to the makeup of education, the setup of education, how education is applied and governed to this platform. So I'm going to be using the sciences and the structures that I've studied about to benefit African people. Understand that it's very different trying to deliver a session online compared to traditional methods of teaching. In the classroom, I am bouncing off individuals and groups. So I'm in there and I can conjure up an energy and inspire and utilize other people in that classroom to create a situation of learning, a learning community. Whereas this method, online is literally just me and the camera so I'm having to motivate myself and I'm having to conjure up an energy to try and inspire you this is new to me I've never done this before so I am developing also the whole notion of online learning is a, a new science that I'm about to delve into so you're gonna see me struggle sometimes and I'm hoping that we'll grow together the more I do this, the better I'm going to become. Just like anything, when you're learning something new and you persist and you continue to do something, you begin to master the skill. So I'm asking you to just bear with me. It's a very strange situation for me. I'm learning to make the camera become my best friend. And I am going to be gathering energy from your comments, your feedback and the subscriptions so i felt it necessary to highlight that i am not perfect and i am learning also it's important for you to know also that i am doing everything here i'm the cameraman i'm the editor i've designed all the resources and i've come up with the whole notion of this platform so i'm editing whilst I'm talking to you and I'm also using home equipment I'm using a webcam and a simple microphone I don't have any specialist equipment and I'm using default software that is on my laptop as you can see the lighting's not the best the quality is not the best so I am literally starting from the bottom and as things develop so will the quality but right now i'm just testing the waters i'm just seeing if there is a niche here and whether it is worthwhile investing more energy and more um 
funds towards developing the resources. I'm a woman that likes to practice what I preach. So the whole notion of self-generating, self-sustaining, self-governing applies to even the way that this platform has been designed and is managed. As you can see, I have self-generated this. I have nobody, I don't have a production team. I've come up with the resources myself, the ideas myself. Um, so I am literally embodying the whole mission statement here and hopefully I'm role modeling to you guys that this can be done if you have an idea you can implement it quite simply so I'm holistically trying to practice what I preach I'm not gonna be doing too many takes either I'm gonna keep this as roots as possible it's going to be very authentic so you're going to see all my mistakes and all I'm not going to go in and edit this to perfection because nothing's perfect as I say you'll watch me grow so I want to emphasize that maybe some of my footage isn't going to come across as professional as you would like it this is not the BBC this is just Miss Roots in her house trying to inspire who's seen an area where she could potentially contribute and support her people. I am not performance trained. I'm not an actor. I'm a teacher. So being in front of the camera is of a very new skill for me. The resources used and that you'll be accessing have come from my archive that I have generated over the past with past partners, past colleagues and I've refreshed them specifically for this purpose and for this time. Most of the resources have been developed off the back of books I've read, research I've carried out, documentaries I've watched for instance, sessions, lectures, classes I've attended, as well as using my own logic. Obviously, I want to teach you guys how to think. So anything that I am presenting to you, it's imperative that you then go and do your own research and situate yourself between what I've offered as knowledge and information and what you've seeked out yourself and utilize all resources to come up with your own perspective on things obviously i do not know everything nobody does but i do know how to do research and i do know how to apply logic and my main aim here will be to teach you how to think for yourselves and how to go about doing your own research now, tomorrow, we could have an alien encounter and blow all theories that we have ever known out of the water. So, I'm just highlighting the fact that nobody knows everything. And you must have and remain to have an open mind. But the key here is to be thinking. And with that thinking and with that research, You'll ascertain your purpose and you'll firm up your own identity. I do not claim to be a specialist in any area or any subject. I have knowledge that ranges across subjects. And to be fair, I subscribe to the notion of all subjects merging into one but what I do claim to be is a translator of information I believe I am somebody that can break down information and make it palatable so that people can digest it 
so I'm a good communicator and that's what I'm going to be using this platform to do.